All right, Merry Christmas, you dirty bastards. Um, <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's Chris from Out West with Chris. Today I'm joined by my son and we are going to actually open a subscription box. What box we got there? Battle box. Alright, so this is mission 45 for Battle Box. And yes, I am extremely late on uh, doing this video. Uh, partially because of shipping and logistical errors on uh, Battle Box's part. And partly because when I got here I was just kind of over it. And um, I guess that sets the, the frame of reference that I'm working off of for this unboxing video. But yeah, um, kind of kind of over it. Um, already today, there are people that have got their shipping notices from Mission 46. And just four days ago, I got my actual Mission 45. So um, kind of lame if you ask me. Um, some of you may have dealt with that. Um, it all centered around the knife of the month not being um, in their possession. But with all that said, let's go ahead and take a look at what is inside Mission 45 from BattleBox. Go ahead and open it up. Right off the bat, here is our sit rep card, our evaluation card, and the, the theme for this month is Hunting 2.0. So the first item is from Smith's, and Smith's makes um, a lot of different outdoor stuff. Um, tinder processing, knife sharpeners, and here is a little three pack um, field skinning knives. So, some caping knives. So, it uses like a, a Havilon style uh, blade. Um, it's a surgical grade stainless steel blade. These are super sharp, so that's nice. But basically, these are a throwaway knife, um, you know. I got another kit in a hunter's hall uh, that was similar. Um, they were much more compact, uh, the blades were. So, uh, I don't know, this isn't that bad. The value on it is $9.99 for three. So, okay. Um, we're gonna go on to the next item, which is a three pack of snares from Dakota Line. So, some, some wire for snares, $4.99, that's, that's okay. Uh, I'm not blown away, but snares are, are nice to have for survival situations. Not so much really hunting. I mean, if you're gonna snare or trap an animal, um, you actually need to, to look at a lot of the local laws. Um, you know, a lot of times you need a different type of license. And there, there's a lot of you know rules that go into to trapping, to snares for hunting purposes. I mean, you need to check, you need to be diligent about checking your, your snares or your traps. Um, if you go out and put this out somewhere on a tract of land and leave it there for a week, you're kind of an asshole. So, um, you know, in my opinion. But uh, for the most part, these look like they're fairly well constructed, $4.99. I'm gonna throw them into one of my kits, um, you know, one of my bins for long-term survival type stuff. Uh, they'll come in handy. I've got other sets of snares as well. And the next item is the ultimate guide to home butchering. Okay, so here's a book. And the book is the ultimate guide to home butchering. What's the value on that, buddy? 1028. 1028. So $10.28. Uh -huh. It's funny, I've been kind of paying attention. We go to bookstores a lot. This kid reads. He reads a lot. One of my and favorite places are Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble is one of his favorite <laughs> spots. And it's funny because I see a lot of these books that we end up getting from Battle Box um, on the shelves of Barnes and Noble. And, uh, you know, a lot of times they're steeply discounted. So it seems like it's probably something where a publisher just has a ton of books sitting around and uh, they wholesale them out really cheap um, for whatever it's worth. The MSRP is still what the MSRP is, even if a store like Barnes & Noble uh, discounts it quite a bit. But um, keeping that in mind, maybe the overall value for the basic box isn't as good um, this month as we would hope. Okay, the dry mate dry seat mat. Okay. 
and it's at a value of thirteen ninety nine. Thirteen ninety nine. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is something that if you lived in California or I think Massachusetts, you got this instead of a blowgun. Um, I am totally fine not getting a, a blowgun and getting this mat. I think I will have a lot more practical uses for this, this mat. And basically what it is, feels kind of like soft, right? Well, kind of slick right there, right? Yeah, like kind of rubbery. Rubbery kind of, and then that side. It's soft. Soft, like some sort of felt almost. Yeah, like a rug. Like a rug. So basically what you do is if you have something wet and you want to sit down on it, you pre press that down, right? Set that down like that and you sit down and the moisture doesn't come through this, so your butt stays nice and dry. Um, you can also use this if you're cleaning guns, um, you know, if you have a nice wood table. Um, you want a mat to clean your guns on a lot of times, especially if you use a lot of lubricants or solvents, um, CLPs, that type of stuff. So this could be great for that as well. Um, this backing is going to be like a non-slip texture. So that, my friends, is your basic box. And now we're going into advanced. We are going to go into advanced, but first, the basic cost you $25. Um, the total value of the basic was $39.25, four items. And I mean, I, I'm not super impressed with the basic. I know it's a basic box, so. It is what it is, right? It's the basic box. So we're gonna go on to the advanced. What do we got? We got, the, how about you read it? It's this. It's the Outdoor Edge Zip Pro. Well, where is it at? In the advanced? No, like, it's not in here though. There's nothing in here. Yeah, there is. Well, that's just the thing. Like, uh, there's a hole in the bottom of the pouch. Something fell out of it. But on this little card that's in that sleeve, there is an Outdoor Edge um, code, which is awesome. Battlebox 35, 34% plus free shipping on one order. A whole order or item? That's gonna be interesting. At Outdoor Edge. Um, where, did you find it? No, not anymore. What was that thing that you held earlier? The little the knife thing? Remember? You had a little thing. Yeah. Oh, right there. This? Yeah, I think this is it. Um, so I believe this is it. Yeah, this is the Outdoor Edge Zip Pro. And uh, I actually received one of these in the Hunter's Hall that I got a couple days ago. And basically it's a, a it's like a, a gutting knife. So instead of the blade being here, the cutting edge being here, the cutting edge is up top. So you gotta be careful, right? And what you do is you stick this into a fish or a deer carcass um, and you can just zip it up and open up the animal or the fish or whatever. Um, it's jimped right here. It looks like a decent tool. It's kind of a, a, a situation where I'm sure it works really well, um, but you can probably do just as well with a lot of knives. So instead of carrying just one knife, you're gonna carry two because this is not gonna do well with other functions. Um, anyways, not that it's bad uh, or anything like that. It just kinda is what it is. Now, I didn't really see a use for it or a purpose for me um, when I got it in the Hunter's Hall and it got put into a future giveaway pile of stuff. So, um, that will probably do the same thing. In fact, we might do a giveaway at the end of this video if Dominic wants to. So it'll be up to Dominic. We'll see, okay? All right, value on that. What? How much is that worth? It is worth $26.99. $26.99? I mean 95. It's kind of interesting how much Outdoor Edge stuff has been in subscription boxes lately. And I like Outdoor Edge. There's uh, some really cool stuff from them that I enjoy. I like the Saberback Bowie, really inexpensive kind of beefy Bowie with a blade on the back. And, um, you know, I like the, the EDC uh, Razorlight Pro EDC models or whatever, the exchangeable blade and knives. Um, those work great. Those are, those are really good. Um, so not that anything that Outdoor Edge puts out is bad, 
but they're just all over the place and it'd be cool to see some other stuff. So what do we got next? The silent retriever. Silent this. retriever. Is this? Yeah. $12. What is this? I don't know. It looks like a bait. Attach your pull string and drop on top of your dropped equipment and just pull back up. You know what this looks like? What? You probably don't, but you. But this looks like a squid, um, a squid hook. Is it a bait? It's not. So basically, if you drop something on the ground and you're up in like a tree or something, you can put a string on this, drop it down, kind of drag it over it, and then pull up, and it should hook it. So it's like a grappling hook for your gear. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So that's what it is right there. And those look a lot like squid hooks. Twelve bucks. Twelve dollars. So it doesn't come with a string or anything like that, but you know, paracord, if you don't have a thousand yards of paracord, you know, you're, you're really not an outdoorsman. So you should have enough paracord. That's a joke. I was being sarcastic, but uh, you know, put some paracord on it. This is going to be something I think might be popular with guys that um, hunt from tree stands. Um, this does nothing really hunting wise for me. I'm not a tree stand hunter. Most people out in the West, eh, some do, but a lot don't. Uh, whereas back East and down South, uh, tree stands are a big thing. So, or blinds and that type of stuff. Interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna have a whole lot of use for this. Maybe this will go into a giveaway too. What do you think, bud? Oh, it has a paper on it. Oh, it has some information? The silent retriever is a great and proven tool to reach those just out of reach gadgets. This little compact tool is one of the best things you could put in your day pack for that long day of hunting deer or your vehicle because you just never know. It's not if, it's when, and usually it's when you least expect it. So, I don't know, I'll look into it, maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't. Um, it, it's, I don't know, whatever. That wraps up your advance box. Two items in your advance box. Um, so that is bringing your total to $78.20 MSRP versus a cost, a hard cost to you of $49.99. <sighs> okay, next we're going to go to the Pro. And the first item in the Pro is the Outdoor Edge Wild Pack. It's a $64 value. Let's take a look. What do we got? Ooh, All right. Oh, nice. What's this? Those are rubber gloves. So we got some rubber gloves. All right, so why don't you turn it around and show folks so that they can see on the camera. You think it'll fall out? Um, they look like they're in there fairly well. All right, so basically this is a game processing, like field processing uh, kit, all inclusive. Um, here you have a sharpener. Um, probably wanna be careful with a sharpener like that. Sometimes they can really rough up your knives but they work out in the field really well. They're quick. You just drag your knife through and um, you're good. Um, then you get a couple different knives here. Um, this one has a gut hook on it. Um, you get a saw, a bone saw, and then a spreader. So not a bad little kit. It looks like it'd be kind of heavy. How heavy is that, buddy? It's not heavy at all. No? Look, I can hold it with my pinky. Well, you're so strong, though. Let me see it. Yeah, you know what? It's not too heavy. It's a little bit bulky, but... You could you, just walk around with it. You could, yeah. You could carry it in your backpack, um, that type of thing. Yeah. I use um, this kit from Old Timer, and it, it basically utilizes interchangeable blades. And so when you're not using it, the blades are um, stowed in the sheath, and it comes with a bone saw a skinner, a uh, couple different utility knives, and it, it's pretty handy. I like it quite a bit. Oh, we want to make sure we put the rubber gloves back in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is an interesting little kit, $64 value. Um, I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. Um, it seems like that price might be a little bit high, but at the same time, you know, it's, it doesn't look to be bad at all. I think the, the kit that I use with the interchangeable blades 
Um, I think it ran me around $30, something like that. All right, so what else do we have? Um, the Michael Hawk Arrow headset with carrying case, $24.95. $24.95, that's what's in here, huh? I think it has a bunch of arrowheads in it. Can okay. It? Here, you can read the card. Oh, you're going to open it? I want to see what's in here. All right. So this is a little card with some instructions on what to do with what's inside this little pouch that my son is opening. That thing has a bunch of different types of arrowheads in it. Yeah. I bet you those are really sharp, so. Yeah. If you decide to pull one out, Each careful. have their own case. Okay. All right, so let me take a look. You're not much of an arrow hunter. I am not <laughs> much of an arrow hunter, but look, that's not really something you would shoot from a bow, um, this would be for a spear, and you could use this if you were like trying to get a frog. You know, you had a, a spear, and you were, you saw some frogs, you just, and it would gig the frog. It's called gigging, I believe. Um, and you could do fish like that too. So that's kind of that one's kind of neat. You could give those to Sam, cause she does arrows. Oh, cousin Sam? Yeah. I don't know if she makes her own arrows, but. But, like, she shoots arrows. Yeah, she might like something like that. I don't know. So, there are different profiles um, on each head. This one's kind of a serrated profile. Here, I'll give you next. This one's different. Um, you know, just really pointy and sharp. This one looks like it's more of a piercing thing. Yeah, kind of. Spear point, almost. Like a spearhead. It's kind of cool. And this one just looks like... Yeah, and it's kind yeah. of got barbed on it, so yeah, it'll so... get in there and stick. Yeah, so like, if you pull it out, then... So a little carrying pouch for it. Um, I don't know, I kind of get it. it it's kind of interesting, though. Um, it's kind of like a mixture of modern day um, gear, hunting gear, the like game processing stuff um, with the knives. Um, and then some kind of old school, almost prepper, but kind of old school hunting with the snare and the arrowheads. And then if you got the blowgun, that as well. Um, I don't know. There's some interesting stuff, but I don't know. For some reason, I'm just not super duper thrilled. I'm sure you would think... You know, I, I'm kind of, I kind of enjoy hunting and stuff like that. That uh, this would be right up my alley. I don't know. <clears throat> and now it's time for the finale, the Pro Plus Knife of the Month, Buck and Bears Knives Survival Piranha, eighty nine ninety nine. Got a nice little case. Okay. And Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, this is fancy. Yeah? What's the knife for? Like, what is it? Just the knife? Like, for cutting and stuff? Yeah, I mean, it's it's like a fixed blade knife. You could probably skin with that. Um, not a bad looking knife, really. So this is the Buck and Bear's Piranha. It looks like stainless um, steel. It's not stainless. Um, here, get the card. Where's the card at? It looks like steel for sure. So this is an interesting knife. I didn't really have high hopes for it, but it actually feels pretty good in the hands. Um, it is D2 tool steel, uh, included in the box, probably because they felt bad because um, they were late, but is a 20% coupon. So like I said before, it's a uh, D2 steel full tang knife um, with G10 scales. Looks to be fairly well made. It's a um, G10 handle too. Yeah, G10 handles. Uh, but it feels pretty good in the hand. Um, the This little butt area, I don't really know what you call it, but maybe a pommel. Um, it's kind of um, wraps up right around your, your pinky finger, which actually fits really nice. It feels pretty good, nice weight to it. Here, why don't you hold it, buddy? Don't drop it. Yeah, it's not super heavy, but adds that weight. Yeah. 
Here you go. Thank you, sir. And comes with a, a Kydex sheath and fits pretty good, not noisy. I like that. I hate it when Kydex is like kind of loose and it's noisy. I would never take a noisy knife hunting with me. Um, that's why sometimes when I'm hunting, I actually prefer a leather sheath or something like that. Kydex can make a lot of noise. So, so the value um, for Pro Plus, $258. Uh, cost, $149. You know, that's not super bad. Um, it's not as good, though. It seems like, what, here, a year ago, half a year ago, but a year ago and more. Um, we were getting like $350 value MSRP uh, value boxes. I don't know if um, some of the buying power might have gone away. I don't know. I, I don't know why that is. I have no idea. But this is another one of those boxes that in my opinion, I think I'm really going to like this knife and in my opinion, the knife kind of saves the box for me. So I, I'm pretty disappointed in the slow shipping. Um, and I know they sent an email out to pretty much everybody giving you an option of getting the knife later and your other stuff up front, like when when they sh you should have gotten it. Um, I didn't get that option. I didn't get those emails. There was no communication whatsoever um, from folks at BattleBox, except on the BattleBoxForum.com forum. Um, but that wasn't direct communication with me. That was just general communication. Uh, I had no clue what was going on. I had no clue when I was going to get my box, and I just got it. Um, like four days ago. So anyways, I really hope that that doesn't continue. I've heard that there's potential for some really cool changes to go on with BattleBox in 2018. And I'd really like to see that. I think that'd be, I think that'd be good. So we'll just put it at that. And we're going to move on to the next phase of our video. Should we do a giveaway or not? A Christmas giveaway. A Christmas yeah. giveaway. Okay. Yes. What are we going to do? Arrowheads? Yeah. It's up to you. Yep, we're going to be giving away some arrowheads. Okay. Give away some of these. Going to give away the arrowheads, these. Get that Zip Pro knife over there. What else? What do you think about this thing? Or do you want to keep it for a little bit to test it out? Keep it? Let's give that away. You want to give it away? You sure? Okay, we're gonna give away the silent retriever, so. Um, yeah, don't get anything too big. He's over in the giveaway cupboard. We have a, a stash of giveaway items. This is all him. Yep. We're gonna be giving away. Oh, you guys are so lucky. Show him what you're giving away. This flashlight. That's an O light. Hey, it was in the giveaway section. It was. <laughs> and. This CRKT bottle opener, multi-wrench flat screwdriver. The Viva from CRKT. Kind of like multi-tool <clears> type thing. And then you guys are going to get, uh, which one is this? This is the S1 Baton from Olight. So, geez, that's some good stuff. Why don't you go get one more thing? How this is going to work is you got to be a subscriber. you got to comment down below. And um, we'll pick a comment here in a week. So that would be next Tuesday. I'll have all of the rules and stuff down below in the description. Um, but I believe that would be the 11th, um, December 11th. Uh, once we pick a winner, you got to get me your info. And then we'll go from there on shipping it out. What do you have behind your back? You guys are going to like this. Which one is that? All right. So evidently, we are also giving away a CRKT Clever Girl. Um, so, geez, why don't you just give away everything, dude? <laughs> so you guys get a CRK CRKT Clever Girl. One person is going away with all this stuff. So that's, you know what? That's a good reason to hit the like button on this video. If you, do, if you hit a dislike, that just means you're a sad, sad panda. So... <laughs> Cause this is for Christmas. <clears throat> yeah, this is for Christmas, guys. We're I'm, we're Santa Claus. I'm Santa. He's Claus. So no, I'm your elf. You're my elf. I'm your first-hand elf. All right. So I guess I am Santa Claus. See, I got the the hat and everything. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, Merry Christmas, you dirty bastards. Um, <laughs> we'll pick a winner soon and let you know by responding to your comment, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Comment down below. Got a comment if you want to win. Um, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Don't, don't forget to hit that bell icon if you do subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and... Make sure to get out west with Chris. Okay, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, we're done. Merry Christmas. We're done.